What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a little bit different than my normal Sailor Moon news and reviews. Uh, this is actually something that I'm going to build. So this is a build video, if you will. Kind of like my other YouTube channel where I do PC builds. Ha! Funny. Anyway, welcome to my channel. This is where I do Sailor Moon merch and news. I'm super excited about this one because this is my very first purchase from a website called E2046, who does a whole bunch of GK statue builds. You can buy kits, you can paint your own statues and stuff like that. However, I am not that good at painting, so I always buy the pre-painted versions. So this right here is a Super Sailor Moon, I think, a uh, statue that is supposedly pretty large, but I don't know how, I mean, how big could she be? But this is supposed to be a statue that is, um, it is an artist's rendition of the item. It is not a licensed product, but this is a very pretty resin figure that I decided to purchase from E2046. Uh, it was also a pretty good price. I think it was right around a little bit over 150 bucks maybe plus shipping so not too bad shipping was from hong kong so yes that does rack up the price a little bit but it got here rather quickly once they finally got all the parts in it does take a long time if you pre-order one of these guys they take forever to actually ship them to you so you could be waiting for like a year so keep that in mind if you order anything from 2046 and again um, if a statue is available from Premium Bandai or a figure with a specific like style or pose, I will buy the licensed one from Premium Bandai. I will not buy an unlicensed figure. This figure in itself I'm considering to be a kit because you do have to build it. So I'm going to go ahead and break into this box, do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and take this camera and zoom in and do some voiceover so you can see it while I'm putting it together. Um, but I'm really excited about that. So. Maybe I'll go ahead and take all the pieces out of the box so you can see my reaction, and then we will build it. How's that sound? That sound good? Okay. Oh, so here we go. This is a gathering figure, and this is the assembly guide. So it shows you all the different pieces that you should have, and then what it should look like once you are finished. So this is supposed to be a really, really pretty figure. I'm looking forward to taking it out of the box and seeing what it actually looks like in person. I can't wait. It's so cute. Okay, cool. Oh, this is also really nice. Each of the pieces is labeled in the box. So it shows you what pieces should be in each of the different little squares. So you won't like end up accidentally throwing anything away. That's useful. Okay, so I'll start in the corners. First we have Sailor Moon's head. Wow, she's huge. I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. She's really big. Okay, so if this gives you any sort of impression on how large this figure is, that's her head, just her head, all by herself. Yep, gigantic. But I will say her eyes are painted really, really well in there. You can tell that they are hand painted and it looks like they paid a lot of attention to detail on here. So I'm very happy with that. There's also a little bit of airbrushing happening on her hair. So it's not all one color. There is a little bit of difference or defining where there's like lines. So you can see some shadowing type of effects happening there. And her two little feather things are pearlescent, which is really cool. Okay, so that was her head. It is resin, so I wanna be very, very careful with all the parts. We have another one piece here. This is number nine. Or maybe it's six. Yeah, I think it's six. Her Fuku bow, very pretty. And here, ah, I have found... Oh, was that supposed to break apart? I hope that was supposed to break apart. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so we have the Fuku. I'm not sure if that's supposed to come off, come off or not, but it slides in there pretty well, so hopefully it'll just stay there. I hope it didn't like break while it was shipping or something. But here we have Sailor Moon's Baldy. So this looks really nice too. Looks like there's, I don't see any paint flaws, which is wonderful. And looks really, really pretty. So and I like the pearlescent sheen too with the Fuku. It looks very, very nice. So that'll look really pretty once I get to putting it all together. Piece number three, which is the bow on the back of her fuku. Okay, so this one is slightly translucent. Very cute, okay. A few more big pieces, her wand. 
Oh, I found her butt. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Okay, so here's her legs. Wow, this is a huge statue. Oh, goodness. I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. I'll have to figure it out later. Here's her hair. It is... This is huge. Guys, I'm not even joking. Like, look at this thing. It's gigantic. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there's hair piece number two. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this thing is huge. Okay, we have an arm. Yay. All right, found one of her arms. Got arm number two. Wow, this is pretty. If I can get it out. There we go. Okay. So another part of her bow that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm going to keep the box because this will be excellent to transport her in if I ever move. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, so just as a reminder, this is a resin statue, which means that it is very fragile. Uh, usually you'll find statues that come in either like a rubberized PVC type of material, or you will find these resin ones, which are much harder, which means that they are a lot more durable, they'll last a lot longer, but they are fragile too. Now I have heard that PVC ones, like the cheaper statues up here, eventually the paint gets a little sticky, uh, which I have noticed on some of my vintage statues. While with resin, that's not the case. These won't get sticky. So there are good parts and bad parts. I think resin is more high quality than um, PVC. I think it's PVC. So I would probably prefer re resin over PVC for any build, any GK kit or any kind of figures that you might have. All right, hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that piece of paper and get to it. So I should probably start with the lower end. So this part of her and then work my way up. So I'll go ahead and start there. 30, piece 30 goes on this piece. That's nice, it just kind of snapped into place. Okay, so here we have her baldy, which is great. Okay, so we have the body put together. Luckily, the legs just kind of snapped into the body part, which is great. So it looks like it was nicely made right there. The fuku bow goes on the front right there. That pretty much just snaps into place. It's a little wiggly, but I think it'll stay just fine. We have her head, which goes right here. That slides in perfectly. Lovely. Great. This bow... Let's see, the longer ends go towards the top. This goes on the back. Okay, this one I kind of have to shimmy in there, but it does fit, which is good. Um, let's see, guess I'll put on, okay. I'm gonna do these, the two little wing pieces. Not sure which one goes on which side. They aren't really labeled, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out based on what they look like. Nope. Okay. Get all her other shit out of the way. Oh my god. Okay. So it's either... Actually, maybe I should do... I'm gonna take out... Oh! <gasps> I broke it! No! I told you it was easily breakable. I broke the thing. Uh -huh. That's okay. I'll just glue it back into place. Luckily, it's on the bow in the back, so nobody's going to notice. Ah, oh, dang it. That's so irritating. Okay, I was trying to pop out the bow so that I could put on the bottom pieces because those kind of fit underneath it. Man, I was trying to be so careful, too. Oh, well. All right, moving on. So next we have these pieces. This is why I can't have any nice things. It's kind of hard to tell which side they go on. I think that side, maybe. And then this one here. I think that's correct. That looks right, maybe. Uh, this, I'm probably gonna have to glue into place. Yeah, I, I do have some good glue for stuff like this, so I'll just be able to fix it. But that sucks, man. I shouldn't have been so tough on it. Ugh. Oh, well. Okay, next we got two hands. We got one of them, which is holding her wand, which I think is this one. And then this hand, which is 
setting down like that. So I think this one goes here. There it goes. Okay. That hand's in there. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Oh my gosh, she's so big. Jeez. This hand goes here. Oh, that just set in there really nice and smooth. That's good. Her wand just sets right into her fingers. Here, I'll show you. Okay, there's her wand. It just kind of snaps into her fingers, which is good. It's nice and easy. Thank God. <laughs> okay, and then we have her two Odongos. Odongo number one, which I believe goes like these. Yeah, that fit perfectly, okay. And then Odongo number two, which goes here. Okay, there we go. All right, she's built, other than this piece right here that I broke. <laughs> Cause I'm dumb. Woo, lordy. As usual, I'm breaking things, go figure. Um, I'm just gonna glue this back together. Luckily, I do have some super glue that will put this back together in no time which is great. And then I'll put that on her back and get some close-ups of that. I'm really sad that I did that. Oh my gosh, like resin. I told y'all it was fragile. It's definitely fragile, but I can show you what she looks like. Um, she is huge, she is heavy. I don't know where I'm going to put her, but she's gonna need to go somewhere where she won't break again. So this is what she looks like. She is beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous art. Um, she's pearlized all over the place. Excellent job on the paint. So I'm really, really happy with like her eyes. I'm always super adamant that they get their eyes right because that's what really makes or breaks a figure. The pearlescent sheen goes throughout the entire um, statue. So you have it on her fuku, on her gloves, you have it on her little bows, and then you also have a little bit of the pearlescent on the gold around here too. The gems on her Odongos are really pretty too. They have like a brighter red in the center and then a darker red on the corners, kind of like a shadowing detail, which is really cool. And I also like the little translucence of the bow and I like the translucence of the little pieces on her shoulders too. That's very, very pretty. I think they did a really good job with this, this piece of art. It's definitely a piece of art for sure. Like it's, it's more expensive than your normal uh, premium Bandai uh, or Tamashi Nations type of figures, but it's also not a licensed figure. So how do you feel about that? That's really up to you. Personally, I'm willing to buy something like this that's a piece of art if and only if the same kind of figure does not already exist in a licensed format, and this one definitely does not. Now I did notice a very, very slight bit of white paint right underneath her eye. It looks like their hand must have slipped or something while they were painting her eye. It's not that noticeable though, so I don't think anybody is going to pay attention to that once I have her up where she belongs, up on my shelf back here, my collector's shelf. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ordered anything from 2046. I do have another uh, statue coming in from them, another figure, and that one is going to be the Human Luna one, which I believe they're sending as a PVC version, not a resin version, which is kind of unfortunate since I ordered it thinking that it would be resin, but they switched it. Uh, I don't know if I should consider that a bait and switch because it kind of feels like one, but I'm s I am still really, really want that figure, so I'm still going to order her. If you could have any figure from Sailor Moon, whether that was uh, something from the manga or from the anime, I would love to know what figure you would absolutely buy, like no questions asked. For me, that would be Sailor Cosmos because we don't have we don't really have anything that has Sailor Cosmos on it. I would love to see her in Sailor Moon Crystal. I think that would be amazing if they finish off Sailor Moon Crystal and they had her in the anime. But currently you can only see Sailor Cosmos in the manga and that's it. So I would love to see a figure of Sailor Cosmos. I would buy it immediately. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below as usual. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Johnny.